There's going to be a defining point for this program sometime. I want it to be now. There's got to be a turning point. There's got to be a point where we decide enough is enough, man. We got to have that point sometime. I want it to be tonight. I want it to be the night when we play. We got to turn it. We got to redirect this ship. We got to take it. It starts tonight, man. We got to start it now. Pick your hands up. Turn to each other. Let's go. There's times that I guess um, people think that that's what leadership is, is those halftime speeches and end of the game, things like that. But I don't really think that's where leadership happens. Yeah, that stuff does happen with me, and sometimes I get fired up and say something, but I don't really necessarily believe that's leadership. I think leadership happens in the off season when it gets tough and um, the day-to-day -day situations and when you're talking to your teammates and just telling them and just being around them and helping them practice hard and do the little things right. I think that's more leadership than it is the big halftime speeches that you see all over YouTube and things like that. I, don't, I think leadership's more the day-to-day -day things. I think the leadership on the team, I think we just have so many different leaders, you know, anyone can step up and talk, talk in front of the team, you know, get on somebody and things like that. So just, just how spread out the leadership is and things like that, you know, knowing that, you know, you can rely and count on anyone that's, that's right next to you. So I think that's definitely, definitely good. That's what you got to do. You just got to see other people do it the right way. And that's what I want to do for other people is show them how to do it the right way so that there can be more leaders coming up after me. You know, I think it was a lot of games. We had a lot of good games and bad games. You know, plays, plays that we could have made that we gave up as a defense. And uh, you know, I think right now our, our main focus is just being consistent every play. You know, playing and play out, just doing your job, making plays, and uh, at the end of the day, just just winning. I wanted to, to develop my role and get a bigger role within the offense. Um, those are just personal things I have myself, just believing that I can do different things. And it's the same thing this year, just try to show the coaches that I can do more things uh, with and without the ball. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to do whatever I can to help the team. And the team's first for me, and it's, I'm not just saying that. I, my biggest goal is I want to win an AC championship. I want to win a national championship. So whatever I can do to help the team do that, then I'm going to do. Here is Barrett taking the snap on third down, looking left, throws that way. It is picked off, intercepted by Riley, down the sideline to the 40, to the Buckeye 30, stays in bounds, and he will score. A four-receiver formation. The snap comes back to him. He fires to the left side of the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. Bucky Hodges. I mean, I don't think it's hard not to be hyped over something like this, you know. It, you shouldn't have to force someone to be hype over, especially the first game. But you know, something, especially you know, Coach Gray, something that he speaks speaks a lot about a lot is, uh, you know, that this is the biggest game just because it's the next game. So you know, that's the mentality that we have have to have throughout the season. You know, we can't just just focus on one game and forget about the whole season. This is this is the next biggest game just because it's the next game. You boys ready? You know that answer. They asked, asked Tigre, do you want to do one-on-ones? He hesitated for a little bit. He never hesitated. He did, actually. He's like, ah. And then Zahn had to say, we really would like him, coach. He's like, all right. Let me know what he say tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> there you go, there you go, there you go, come on. I don't um, say camp is a little easier, I guess. You know, not as much mentally for me. You know, coming as a freshman, even a sophomore, you know, you got a lot on your mind, trying to play perfect and things like that. Still kind of learning the ins and outs of defense. But, you know, third camp, you know, it's kind of a little bit easier. You know, you grasp more of the defense and things like that, know where you need to be. So it's definitely still not easy, but, you know, it's less, a little bit less stress. Come back, 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 back. Ah, all right. Worst case, make the tackle. Worst case, make the tackle. Get off that thing, Greg. Get out of it, Greg. Get out of it, Greg. Just the energy uh, is so much different. Uh, by this time last year, I feel like we were dragging a little bit. But people are still fired up and ready to go. And um, I think that's huge. People really, really care this year. And I, since that, not that people didn't last year, I just think as a whole, there's a whole new level of energy um, that's fun to be around. And it's, everybody has energy day one. But what I always say is, like, I want to see how we are 
day nine, day 10, when the grind really starts. And um, I feel like that energy has just been there the entire time, which is really good. We, we've got to win those one-on-one -on -one battles with defensive backs, all right? With the offensive line, again, especially against our defense, because they got so many guys up there by the line of scrimmage. We get into the second level, we got to win those one-on-one -on -one battles. Chris Shane, my running backs coach, um, he, he's awesome. He, I mean, he has an open door policy. Whenever I want to talk to him, I can. And um, he just really keeps everything just uh, relax between me and him and he's always helping me always uh, letting me know what I can work on and um, he, he's kind of like a dad away from home for me um, I go to him if I need anything and uh, same with coach Leffler I mean I've built a great relationship with these guys and uh, coach Leffler just has such a great knowledge of the game I love being around just to learn more about football so I mean they've both helped me take my game to a new level just seeing how hard they work definitely gets to me you know seeing how coach Foster, coach Gray, coach Wise you know, Coach Beamer and seeing how much effort they put into it, you know, definitely, you know, touches us and, uh, you know, impacts us on how hard we want to work and, you know, the things we want to do. Vinny was here, I was, I was probably five, eight years old, somewhere around there. So I think I as a player, you know, you got to have higher expectations for yourself than anyone else. So, you know, the expectation that someone else has for you, you know, shouldn't even compare for what you want to do yourself. Uh, I think just, you know, as a, as a group of defensive backs, we just all push each other towards greatness, and uh, you know that's that's what we're looking for.